I'm sure a lot of you struggle with this、uh, because people, you may find people jumping onto your discovery call and they're like, they take a spot on your calendar. And I know that feeling, right? Because when someone jump on the discovery call and they grab a spot or grab a time, you're like, yeah. I did something right, right? It's very the excitement. Of someone are actually interested to do a discovery call with me. Great feeling, and I know that feeling. I totally get that feeling. But when they jump onto the call, what do they say? You give them a very powerful discovery session. You help them to unblock. They got the clarity. And towards the end, what do they tell you? They said, "I can't afford it." <laughs> right? Give me, give me a one. Right. If this had ever happened to you, or drop me, give me a two. If it has never happened to you, and and maybe you haven't got a chance to experience a lot of discovery call, which is okay, right? But you heard those stories of how people are jumping on a call, or even like emailing back and forth, and they ask you like, how much do you charge? And suddenly they came back and say, I I can't afford you. So how do you respond when someone say, I can't afford it? So, I'm gonna give you the very abbreviated version of this because I cover this a lot in module number, I think module number one or number two,、uh, when we talk about the voice hacking. When you understand your client's voice, obviously you're going to be able to create a lot of、uh, content that actually resonate with your potential client, right? So you start to see them. Jumping onto discovery call with you, and you're going to start seeing people wanting to just book a session with you, and so that's when your message that your message is hitting on the spot, right? It's resonating with them, and so they start grabbing these calls. But there's a next step, which is the brand brand positioning. It's about how you position yourself in the market. And that has to do with the pricing, how much you charge, what your package looks like, and what is the ultimate end result or the outcome that you're going to offer them. And when you are able to have the clarity of the pricing, what am I offering, and what is the transformation I'm going to provide, and what makes me the expert, what makes me the authority on this topic. Then you are positioning yourself into a different level. Like the analogy, I gave you an analogy of the Stanley Cup, right? It's a difference between a Stanley Cup and a regular generic cup. Like people are willing to pay for a Stanley Cup because Stanley Cup position themselves to be better. To be bigger, to be very different, right? Because we have the Valentines, we have the heart, we have the pink, we have the red, and Stanley Cup is just gonna be better. And when you're better, you position yourself at a level where you're only going to be able to attract the people can afford it. We all have that price、um, dilemma where if it's something, it's too cheap. We think that it's cheap. I'm gonna say this, but you t- t- totally neutral. I'm Asian.、Um, my origin, my ancestor came from China, right? So when I hear, "Oh, this is made from China," versus something that's made from Italy, <laughs> right? You have that perception. I, I don't even have to tell you like what the price is. Immediately, your mind probably already go into that. Oh, made in China, made in Italy. There's a price difference, right? And that's how the positioning comes in. And this is much more complex, which I would not be able to explain this, like on this on this call. But that's how important it is to position yourself as the brand in Italy. It's important for you to brand yourself as a Tiffany versus branding yourself as I don't know TJ Maxx or Marshall. I'm terrible at using example, but you got the point, right? And so, when you attract people, you also want to attract the people who resonate with your overall impression. And that's how you brand yourself. That's how you position yourself. And your positioning is going to allow you to establish your authority. It's going to allow you to establish your credibility. People are more likely to stop and paying attention to you when you are doing live or when you're doing other stuff like being on a podcast. You're more likely to get invitation to speak 
than if you were positioning yourself as I'm just going to blend in with everybody else. And so that's the importance of brand positioning and how that is going to make a difference with the people who can or cannot afford you. I'm terrible at analogy. Um, yesterday, I was on a call and I, I was talking to one of our um, um, one of the lady who joined the Profitable Coach Formula where I, because they joined earlier. So you always want to treat your own people nice. And so I gave her, I gave all my early signed ups. So those of you who signed up early, I'm like reaching out to every single one of you so that I can give you a one on one session because I, I just that's just how I take care of my people. And we were talking about pricing. Okay, so you don't want to position yourself too low, but yet you don't want to position yourself too high either, because then people just can't reach you, right? You become this impossible person that's so unrelatable, so no one will sign up either. So you wanted to position yourself just right for the people that you are serving. So we talk a lot about this inside the Profitable Coach Formula because it is important even before you decide what my package is going to look like. And I can guarantee you, there's not a whole lot of business coaches will teach you this because a lot of them focusing on the methodology and this is what goes into your package. This is what you include in your package. They're focusing on the thing, but they don't realize that what will actually sell the thing is how you position yourself and how you describe yourself. How do you articulate yourself to your audience? And in order to sell your thing, you have to know how to describe it first. And if you can't describe what you're selling, then forget about what you're selling. No one's going to buy, right? And so if you want clients, we have to start by understanding what is your brand message? How does your clients, your potential client describe themselves or how do they articulate it so that you can speak their language, you can speak their lyrics, you can sing their song. And you need to be able to position yourself so that when you do have the offer, when you do have the package, you have a way of describing it and positioning yourself as the expert of why I should care, why I should buy. And so ultimately the answer to the your big question is how do I get paying client? And it's a complex step-by-step -step process. And I cannot guarantee, I cannot promise you that Lisa come into my program and tomorrow you're going to get a paying client. It doesn't work that way, but I can promise you if you go through the module, go through the training and you go onto the call, I can guarantee you that you're going to be completely different and change because exactly what is it that you're describing to your audience and what is it that they're looking for? What is it that they want so that I can fulfill their need? I can fulfill their desire. And when you get that first paying client, I promise you that confidence that you have knowing that you can do this is going to make all the difference for the work and amount of effort that you put in. So if you're looking to get paying clients, okay, you're going to have to come into the profitable coach formula because this, I designed this program because I was struggling with how to articulate my message. That story I share all the time about how after I published my book, I was holding on to the book. Uh, the book is sitting right there, right? I was holding on to the book. And I remember I was going door to door trying to sell that book. I, I was just going to sell that book. And the book is like $20. It's not even like $200, right? It was $20 a copy that I self-published, printed out, and I was loaded into my trunk. I was going door to door, marketing it, selling it. And I remember driving all the places in this uh, area, in my town, in my community. And I was going into every uh, community center. I was going to a lot of wellness center, rehab center, because uh, the selling point that I was talking about, I wanted to go in and I wanted to be able to do like a workshop or a webinar and then talk about my story. And my story is the fact that I'm physically disabled, I'm four feet, four inches tall, but yet I hike Machu Picchu. Right. That's why that was my intention and stories that we wanted to talk about. But nobody wanted to hear that story. Nobody. Nobody wants to hear that story. Nobody cared about the story. No one even bought the book 
at all. And I even had a little tiny stand on the side in a flea market and I had my table layout. I bought the banner on the side. I went all in trying to market it. Didn't sell a single copy. I gave away a whole bunch for free because that's what people tell you to do, right? Just give away free stuff and people will eventually buy. That's a lie. <laughs> that is a lie because people would not care about you unless you give them a reason to. And so I was struggling with that. And finally, I realized that, oh my gosh, this is so freaking hard. And the competition in my area is just so huge. Everybody that I turn to, ten, uh, uh, three out of 10 are life coaches and mindset coaches. Three out of 10 are life coaches and mindset coaches. And, and people that I went to the network with, they're not interested in my service. They're interested in getting me to become their client. And that was my experience with networking in person. Uh, going to business meeting, uh, business networking um, meeting, right? BNI, done that, did that, went to, what do you call that? The uh, Chamber of Commerce, pay my membership, useless. <laughs> and the people are not interested to what you have to say, what they care is what's in it for them. And it was just like really hard. And I thought, maybe this is it. I'm not cut out for this, right? There's no way I'm going to get any clients. So I came home, I was crying. I remember I was on the call with my mentor coach and I was just crying. And it finally dawned on me that I, while I'm working a full-time job, there's no way I'm going to be able to go to every single networking event. There's no way I'm going to be able to build a relationship with them. And so what can I do? And I got really creative, right? I came home, I got really creative and I'm like, I'm really good with Instagram. I'm really good with Facebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start posting about just life coaching stuff. I started to post about mindset. I start posting about meditation. I start posting about like Eckhart Tolle. I'm a big fan of Eckhart Tolle. So I post a lot of these type of content and nobody freaking care. Nobody freaking care. I'm like, how could you not care? Eckhart Tolle, right? I even had a picture. I, if those of you who, who love to like spy or dig, go to my Instagram and scroll all the way back. I kept all the content there and you'll notice that it was like maybe one or two in common and they're all my friends. And so nobody care about, about, um, what I had to say. So finally I realized that it wasn't my skill. That was a problem. It was. The, the fact that I couldn't get people to care about what I have to say. And that ultimately is what marketing is. It's about giving people a reason to care about what you have to say, about what would be possible to change your life. And you are sitting with a big dream and big mission, but all you need to do is to get your message out. Just head out and get your message out. But in order to do that, the, there's a system, there's a roadmap, right? There's a formula to this. And so I put this, it, I, it took me six months to put this together. And I'm like getting teary for this, right? This is so silly. I'm getting teary for this because I'm, this is basically everything that I have worked for me, I'm taking it out and everything that I have learned from your brand message identifying your unique um, values and proposition. What makes you different? What makes you stand out? What are your unique strengths and what expertise, transferable skills that you have to carry into your business? How can you bring what you used to do into your current coaching business so that your clients will love you and they would be like jumping on the call and say, you know what? Say no more. Here's my wallet. Just sign me up, right? So I take all that information and help you to create that messaging and to position you as the authority, as the expert. And then we go into creating content and how do we package? How do, what, what do you sell? What do you package? And a lot of this, uh, this morning I was talking into someone else about how it's not the thing that you put into your package that's going to sell. It's about how do you describe what's in your package? And so a lot of that I cover in module number three. Module number four is about how do you bring your own story so that it, people find you to be relatable. And then finally, module number five is about creating those content. 
And I added a social media planner for 30 days. I have sales script ready for you to go. So when people book a call with you, you know exactly what to say and how to say it. And I also added that from the moment that people are booking a call, what do you send them? You need to welcome them. And what do you send them when they actually signed up with you? All this, I thought about everything that I hoped that I had, but I didn't. And I put everything into this. It took me six months to put it one by one together. And it may be maybe a missing a sentence or a word because it was just mind blowing for me to actually go through that journey and being able to deliver this in your hand. And so the door to the profitable coach formula is open until Sunday and it's Sunday at 9 PM Pacific time. So if you want, and this goes back to what I was saying before, if you want to build that full-time coaching business. And I'm not promising you that this, you're gonna get full-time coaching business tomorrow. I'm promising you that when you jump in, I'm going to show you the formula exactly how to build it so that by next time this year, you have a system, you have a way of knowing that this is something that's scalable, something that I can use, something that I can implement. It's going to grow me the consistent flow of client coming in. And that's the experience I want you to have in the Profitable Coach Formula. So the door is open only till Sunday at 9 p.m. Pacific time, which is 12 o'clock Eastern time. And so go check it out. I will see you inside the Profitable Coach Formula. And if you decide this is not on your agenda, it's totally okay. We all have our different priorities. If building a full-time coaching business is not on your agenda, not on your priority, that's okay. And I appreciate you going through this journey with me and I hope you stay around. But if you're ready to work on your full-time coaching business, then this is my invitation to you to come inside to the Profitable Coach Formula.